Hey guys! So today I went garage selling with my mother-in-law and um, there were some specific things I wanted to get that I actually got and um, I got a lot of stuff that I didn't think I was going to get but uh, it worked out that I got some great stuff. So I wanted to share it with you. I ended up spending $50 before I got with Caitlin and then spent another $10 after we picked up Caitlin because she was at a friend's house. The first thing that I got is this old croquet set and it's got all of the mallets and then all of the balls. The only thing that's missing are the wires. And then I bought this a couple weeks ago um, just at a single garage sale. It's a plant stand. Um, and I just thought it was really cute and uh, would look good out in the yard somewhere with a bunch of different pots coming down. And then I got this volleyball for Caitlin. Okay, I got this purse and it was actually in a free box. It, I really do think it's all leather. It feels like leather. The inside is a really good quality. The Christopher Bank, Banks, and they're just some nice capri pants. And I've got, I got these little like short capri pants. Um, they're Gloria Vanderbilt. They got this stretchy waistband. Uh, I got them each for a buck. And then I got this shirt for Caitlin. Happening in the present. And these are like little jewels. They're not actual jewels, but they're like screen printed. And then it's a high-low. I love that it was a cross on there. I thought that was really cool. But, um, I like having these glass baby bottles for my um, yard art. Goal was to get a lot of stuff for the yard to make my yard art. So you'll notice that there's a lot of things for that in this haul. And then I got these two bottles. They've got the cap on them. And then I've been wanting these for a while. These are so cool. One, I heard a tip that if you take a piece of frozen banana and you put it in there and then you close it up and when you give it to them, it's like a sweet kind of a treat, but also it helps with their teething. And then this safety kit still had the paper in it. Uh, you can tell that none of this stuff has been used. And uh, this was a buck. And it's always nice to have around if you have a baby in the house. We are going to be babysitting Coda on Monday, so I'll do some video from that. Um, she's just so sweet. She turns a year in next month, so she's just a sweetheart. And her dad plays the djembe drum for her, and she likes to dance. She just started walking. And so I saw this little, it's a two-piece drum set with the little drumstick. And then these are always a hit with the little, the babies are about a year old. You know, you turn these, uh, it also makes sound. You gotta pull it. Oh. Uh. So I think she'll like Okay, I found this. It is um, like a carry-on bag and it has this really nice um, handle and wheels. This was a great find. It's by the company Travelon. It just needs to be washed down, but the inside, you can tell, has never been used. There's no stains. It's just really nice. And in the front, it has a little, another little organizer. Just a really nice for traveling when I start traveling again for work. That'll be great for my carry. -on. Here, I got for Caitlin this picture. I just thought it was really pretty and it would look good in her room. How much did you get? I paid two dollars for this. What about the bag? Uh, the bag I paid five dollars. Uh, the next thing that I got here is this really nice silver tray. It's very heavy and it comes apart for storing, which I really like. I found these for almost exactly what I bought. The one that I bought is a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, I got these for a buck. So a quarter a piece. And I spent nine dollars on one at the kitchen store yesterday. And then I have always wanted a big, huge, heavy silver bowl like this. This would be, that's nice for baking. Oh yeah, this, you can do bread in here. You can do huge salads. There's all the time I, I've wanted for doing big mixing jobs. Two dollars I spent on that. And it is a nice like commercial one. This for a quarter. It's just a, a brand new binder for Caitlin for school. I got these brand new packages, never been open. 
Um, I had just bought these platters that this will go on perfectly and I got them for 50 cents each. So this one is the full satin hand set and so I got that for 15 and they're normally like 42. Oh, one more kid thing for Coda. It's one of these little, pop it you know, all the way pop out. it up, pop it up. Isn't that cute? And this was 50 cents. And this head and every, this is all wood. It was made in Czechoslovakia. And then this vase, I just thought this was really nice. There is a little chip right here that's been glued, but I paid two bucks for it. I'll just put it, put this in back. Nobody will That'd be pretty see. to put like sticks in there or something. Oh yeah. I got this and I wanted to look up the value because I, I really think that this is probably a $30 little wallet and it's in perfect condition, no stains. It has a little zipper back here with the Kath Kidson and it's like a crossbody bag and it's just super cute and it'll last forever because it is that like old fashioned vintage tablecloth type of material. So that was a find and I got that for um, $2. Echoist. And again, I think that these are pretty spendy. I think they're normally like $35. They are recycled candy wrappers. Um, and the card is in here. Echoist. Does it have the price? No, it doesn't have the price, but it was made from recycled candy wrappers, food packages, and other waste bound materials and it is fair trade from Peru. Mm -hmm. uh, the only jewelry I actually got was this bracelet for a buck. And it matches your outfit right now. Yeah, on. it's so cute. I got this bottle, and originally they paid $12.99 at Goodwill. I paid a dollar for it. It has a little cork. This bottle has this cork in it oh, that actually cool. seals it. It is so cute. I got this piece it'd be nice nice with a big bead or something some colored thing inside of it in a, as a centerpiece this plate i love the design on it it's got the gold it is from france it could actually be worth something if anybody knows about the um antiques haviland and company i just thought it was really pretty called anchor hawking fire king it's got a little bit of an iridescent, just a really shiny look to it. I got this. I'm, do, I'm collecting amber pieces right now. It's actually difficult to find them. Um, these are the only things that I could find that were amber colored. And this I paid a buck. And then for this I paid 25 cents each. I got five of these plates i just thought oh, the design cool yeah i thought the design was is just so cool and can you imagine if you put something colored or even something like that in the center and then put i mean it's just a really neat plate i got two of these i love the color it's like a peach this i thought was really neat i yeah, love the design the sun too. yeah i got five of these and these are going to be so beautiful in the sun because they've got that cut glass. I got two of these plates and I just thought these were really pretty. The colors are pretty. They're di it's different and it's squared with the right pieces in there. Uh, I got each of these for a quarter. I really need this. This is actually for opening jars when you have problems with your hands. This is a Pampered Chef paring knife. I got th each of these for a quarter. And this is a meat thermometer, and I'm thinking this is a meat thermometer. If you, yeah, could, if anybody could tell me. I got these for Caitlin. I actually paid a buck for these instead of two. And I just, it's all metal. These pieces are all metal. And Caitlin's been doing a lot of metal work in her bedroom. And so I thought that they would look really neat. And I love the colors. These are some of Caitlin's favorite colors. And then it has the glass inside, yeah motive. I got this candle holder that I'm kind of on the fence if I'm going to use it in my garden art or if I'm going to um, use it in my house. I put one of these candles that I already had um, that has a remote in there just so you could see how it glows. I, I, I'm thinking I might keep it in the house because it sure is pretty. 
And then this was a great find, these two bowls. I paid $5 for these bowls, but look, they are the Chantal brand. These bowls are probably, this is probably like $35 and this is $15 normally. And these are the types of pans that I have in the same red color. So these match my existing um, cookware. I was really excited when I found those. Uh, this is a, hur a small hurricane that I want to use for my yard art. Um, I thought this would also be a cool piece um, as a transitional, like on a, a, a bird bath or something. This is just miscellaneous craft stuff. There's all these origami bags. There's different kinds of um, organza and lace and ribbon. Um, but mostly we got them for these beads. And um, my mother-in-law took half of the beads and gave me half. So we could both share them. But that was cool. I think we paid $2 for that whole bag. This is new in the package. Um, they're photo corners, white for scrapbooking. I got it for a dollar. These uh, were free, all like in perfect condition. It's just like they just didn't use them. The juggling balls hacky sack. and the hacky sack. Um, I paid a dollar for that. Uh, Caitlin found this Beyond Balderdash game. She got it for what, a dollar? Yeah. I got these slippers. They are Easy Spirit and Fun. they're terry cloth. Caitlin, we got her these. Um, they're completely fur lined. You can tell they they're were dollars ever worn. You can flip them over on top and wear them this way or you can wear them up. And they are all leather. There was hardly any wear. Uh, three bucks. And then the last things that I got are they're dirty right now, but these two bowls are perfect for for bird baths um, on top of a tower. And I got those for free. That was my garage sale haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I got a lot of really good things, uh, a lot of great stuff for garden art. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.